going on you guys? It's George, welcome back to my channel. Or, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my room at the Time Hotel in Nyack, New York. Check it out guys, this place is sick. It's actually a repurposed factory and it just has awesome like industrial meets Victorian vibes and this town is extremely historic. The reason why we're here is because we're actually gonna explore Sleepy Hollow, the town in which the Headless Horseman story is made from. It's actually a story by Washington Irving. We're gonna check out his house, we're gonna explore this town, also Nyack, New York, which is kind of like the neighborhood town of Sleepy Hollow. So I'm pretty excited. I was never here, but I've always been obsessed with the Headless Horseman story. And what better time of the year to check it out than now? So if you're interested in this video, then keep on watching. This room is freaking beautiful. This hotel is called The Time. Like I said before, it's in Nyack, New York. And honestly, like I love all things old world and the style of this place is completely right up my alley. It's very like restoration hardware meets like Edwardian meets Victorian meets Sheraton style. So we are downtown Nyack right now, and it seems like a lot of the stores, to be honest, are kind of like closed, which I was expecting due to COVID, but um, we are gonna go grab lunch at this Mexican place over there called Casa. Unique, right? Of course, we had to stop by a Starbucks, and lucky enough, Nyack has the only Starbucks within the area. And as you can see, I found myself the New York travel mug to add to my collection. This Starbucks though, it was very unique. It had a fireplace, brick everywhere, and it just gave those old world vibes that I appreciate. So this is definitely really cool Starbucks. This area is loaded with antique shops, like literally every corner has a antique store, and I love it, I live for it, but the prices were a little uh, extraordinary, yeah. We found this little gem of a store, no pun intended, Crystals on the Rocks. This store is beautiful. There's crystals literally everywhere. Like, I don't think there's anything in this store that's not crystal oriented. Amethyst for days, and any crystal you could probably think of is in this shop. They're fairly priced, and I'm extremely impressed because I've, I've explored my fair share of crystal stores, but this one, the variety that they had was insane. A little inside scoop, places like this carry very unique crystals that I of course incorporate within my bracelets. If you didn't know this, I actually have a bracelet shop on Etsy, just search George Shira, link in the description here. So we were back in the room and I needed to take a power nap after driving here, which is from Scranton to like Nyack area, it was only like two hours, but oh my God. traveling is like something I've not done in a while, which by the way, guys, with this video, I don't want to promote like anti-social distancing or anything that doesn't involve like safety because we're going through a pandemic. So <laughs> traveling is something I would still be careful with depending on the area and what type of, you know, precautions they're taking, but 
Uh, I felt safe coming here because it's a very small town. It's not like overly commercialized or anything. And figured why not? It's not too far away. And yeah. Life has been crazy, so I needed a little getaway. Get up. Let's go. We're going for dinner. We also needed to take a break because Gaga premiered her video for 911, which was amazing. <laughs> Gustav was like, what the heck? It was, it was all right. I'm still a little like confused as to like everything. Okay, so I just wanted to fill you guys in. I um, had a weird experience after taking our nap. I woke up and I heard like the blinds moving and I had the air off, but the blinds were like moving for some reason. So I'm a little freaked out and right up the road, like the hotel's right there. But beyond that is a graveyard and this area is very historic and old so um there might be a visitor in the room or maybe we're the visitors actually are the visitors but you know what i mean Gustav was obsessed with seeing himself bald. <laughs> well, let me see. <laughs> oh my, why are you so attractive though? Damn. <laughs> Reviews are out on Ratchet on Netflix, the Ryan Murphy TV show, and Gustavo and I at dinner. Check them out. Grace Randolph, her reviews are everything. I'm going to get ice, and this hotel is so creepy at night time. Like, So one thing we'll not be doing on this trip is seeing Washington Irving's house. Um, that was one of my goals because that's the guy that wrote Sleepy Hollow, Headless Horseman. But um, you have to buy tickets and they're all sold out. So <laughs> we got to the door and unfortunately they're not selling them at the door. And it's um, a lot more hectic because of what's going on, COVID and everything. So these are the grounds. So you can like kind of see a little bit of gardens and there's a little guest house back there. So it's cool and everything. but. To actually get on the premises, you have to have a ticket, so... Oh, God, it sucks. <laughs> Now guys, we're at a place called Lindhurst Castle. We're walking the grounds and this is a rose garden. Well, once was a rose garden. And um, this place is massive. There's acres and acres and acres of beautiful like gardens and lands and I'm shook. I'm not too familiar with the Lindhurst history, but this was something that was recommended in the area and the castle itself is not open, so we're not gonna be exploring the inside of that. But what we are doing is just checking out the grounds guys and there's so much to see it's beautiful it's very nice out and i need to educate myself on lynhurst and what exactly this uh place is but just enjoy the scenery It is my goal one day to have a greenhouse. Now this greenhouse didn't just house rose plants like I thought, it actually housed exotic plants from all over the world. It also had a pool and a turtle that just like roamed around the building. So one wing of the greenhouse just housed regular plants and like annuals and whatnots. The other side housed grapevines for wine. Do we love that? I love that. And this right here just basically gives detail about, you know, the ins, the outs and all that fun stuff about the greenhouse that I probably should educate myself on a little more before I visited this place, but you know how it goes.
And after seeing our mansion, let's go check our cats. <laughs> A very beautiful girl. He was able to hypnotize you. As if you'd awakened from a horrible dream. Right now we're just driving through the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery and there's really no destination like a grave stone other than like Washington Irving's that we would check out but the tombstones are dated back to like the 16th century. That is practically ancient but uh, it's very cool just to see. We're finally home guys. Let me tell you driving was exhausting. I've not done in like a weekend trip in a very very long time and it's so nice to be home with the babies. You can probably hear Kylie right now. She is singing for us. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Being away from the cats, guys, for that little amount of time has made me miss them so much. But I had a great trip. I love the fact that I got to share this with you guys. Our Sleepy Hollow and Nyack, New York experience. And we just picked up Chinese food. I'm pooped, so I'm gonna wrap this video up. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I hope you did, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel. That'd be much appreciated. It goes a long way. Share this video and share the love. Also hit the notification bell. That is very important. If you don't click that, that means you will not be notified whenever I upload a video. And my Instagram is right here at George Shroff. If you want to follow me in there as well. But until next time, say thanks, give compliments, and think positive. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.